story time. This is definitely going to the pet playlist because you can tell by the title that we got a pet lizard. And we have a story with that as well. I've wrote down just a little bit and we will start on this interesting journey. It all started out with just a normal day except we were planting trees just for the fun of it because that's what we Hummels like to do. <laughs> and yes, Stella was very thrilled, very thrilled. found it. When I first saw it, it was the first rock that I had picked up and at first I was scared because it looked like a baby snake and then my grandpa was like, uh, no, it's got legs. <laughs> and so that's when we knew we found a lizard, which is weird because lizards normally like to be under rocks, of course, but normally like where there's a creek or like water and we don't have a creek or like a pond or anything. So that was interesting. We put the salamander in a Tupperware with like saran wrap on top with poked holes from like a pen and then we put a rubber band around it just so it wouldn't escape keep that in mind all right everyone so we are making a little park for our little salamander clementine and she be having a blast y'all we have some water just to keep our little clementine moist two ice cubes and then everyone we have our pieces of lettuce because we don't know quite what it eats yet, but we think he should be nice and full for it. Don't now. go up my coat. Okay. Please go up her coat. No. We gave it some exercise, made a little playground with it, had its first baby pictures. Uh, yeah, life was good. Mm. However, Stella was kind of wondering what was going on exactly. Stella, this is Clementine. We're not going to really show you or else you're going to bark. So, if you find anything moving, please don't eat it, okay? We named the salamander Clementine and life was still good because she was safe. We kept her out of Stella's sight. Ew! Ew! Oh, oh, she dead? She ain't moving. Yeah. Uh. Uh. So Max was getting food and we decided to give Clementine a worm. Whether she ate it or not, at least we thought that was a good option because we looked it up. But then me and Manly were kind of arguing about who gets the stinking worm. And so you might know who won. And we're off with a shovel. I feel like this would be a good place. Manly told me one place, but my juices told me to come over here. Wormy worm worms. Will you be at my wormy worm worm? Not you, sorry. No, not, not you. No, sorry. I'm talking to the worms. No, no, worms. Not you, sorry. Okay. Centipede? No, that's not a centipede. That looks more like the strange deadly kind. We're not going for that type right now. Mm. You stinking rocks. In my property. Technically not mine, but you know what I mean.
So it's nighttime, everything's good. Tomorrow's going to be another day of online school, like the normal. I was calling a friend, and then all of a sudden. Hi, this is Maylee, and we have a problem. So we had a lizard slash salamander, and it's not in here. So we're on the search to find it. Hopefully she didn't go far. And I closed the I closed the top last night. I closed it. And I closed it last night. But now I always wake up and I say, Good morning, Clementine. Now she's not there. So we're gonna go find her. Hopefully we can find her. If not, then that'll be sad forever. Anyway, bye. I was trying to think what in the world happened, what went wrong. And so I asked Mailey before you went to bed. What did the Tupperware look like? Um, yeah, I think that's the problem. There was a very big gaping hole at the top of the saran wrap, so something could have easily escaped out of it. Which is why I put the stinking rubber band on stinking Tupperware so that the stinking situation wouldn't have happened. Where did you put her first? I put her right here last night with this sign. Oh, wait, wrong one. This sign that said Clementine. We searched and searched for poor dear Clementine and we could not find her. It took a while, but we still couldn't. We had some of my classmates pray for Clementine. We were constantly thinking about her. We were wondering where she was at. We stayed hopeful, kinda. But there was still no sign of her, so that kind of told me that it was it. She lived a good life. So I think we'll just go on to the montage of remembering Clementine at this moment. So 